Hello everyone, this is Brian over at Open Source Automation. Um, we have just released version 0 0.3.9 um, and the biggest update to that is a overhaul of the web UI, both standard and mobile versions. And I, I want to do like a quick rundown and walkthrough of how to get it set up and start using it. So the first thing you're going to want to do if you haven't done so already, is go to your web server object um, and set up the port and the username and password you want to use um, for it. So the default is just 8081. If you have any other programs that may be using that port, you'll probably want to change it. Um, and then set your username and password. Now, you're going to want to go to if you're not accessing it from the same machine, you're going to need to know your IP address for the machine that OSA is running on. Um, so go ahead and type that in and then make sure you're using the port that you just configured within the web server object. And then go to login.php. That will pop up with this login screen. Just go ahead and put in the username and password that you specified. And that will take you to the home tab. Now these all these objects that you see over here on the left um, are all, all the objects in your system that are of a type of place or container. So that means any other so other objects can be um, owned or inside of these objects. So like my living room, all these objects are within the living room or backyard, etc. And these objects you can can be clicked on, and then you can see the properties, um, methods. You can update any scripts um, within these pages. Pretty self-explanatory as far as that goes. Um, the next screen um, are any screens that you've set up. Um, it there's as many as many screens as you, screens as you have. Uh, there will be tabs here showing all your different screens. Um, the functionality is basically the same as the, the Windows application version of the GUI. Um, you can uh, click on all your, your state images, like lights, and turn them on and off. Um, and this gets updated uh, anytime any object, any anything changes within the screen, this will get automatically updated uh, in real time. The next tab you'll see is the plugins tab. It's very similar to the the home tab, uh, but instead of places and containers, it just has it lists all of the plugins. So this can be used to um, configure your plugins. So you can update properties, um, any methods or scripts that you may have for your actual plugin objects. The last tab is the analytics tab. This is for any objects or properties on objects that you have the track changes set in the object type. So for example if you have a temperature sensor here is um, the object type for temperature sensor at least in my system and I have it set so the temperature property is set to track changes. So then anytime, anytime the value changes it saves that in the system and so I can view it over time. So for example in my backyard temperature sensor it will load a graph showing the changes in value over time and you can change the range and and look at any anything um, over time. Um, that basically does it for the standard version of the web UI. Now if you're trying to use a mobile device, after you go to the login screen and you successfully log in, it will automatically redirect you to the mobile version of the UI. And we'll take a look at that here. It will. This is the first page that you'll go to. Pretty similar to the standard version. It will list all of the places um, within your system. 
you can click on them and view the objects within that place, view the details for that object. Um, the next tab is the system states, so you can change the state of the system. Um, this way it's an easy way to uh, just change the state if you're gonna leave the house, go to sleep, or, or whatever. It's basically setting the security state of the system object. The third tab is user configurable, so this will display any properties on any object and its value that the user configures manually. Now this needs to be done in this way. So after you install version 0 0.3.9 you should see a new object in your object screen called custom property list with and it has one property and it's a list type of a property. And um, this will, sh and so you can edit this list, and in this list you specify what object and what property on that object you want to display on that screen. Um, so it needs to be in this particular format, so the object name, then a colon, equal sign, and then the property name. So as you can see, you saw those two on the screen before, closet temperature object, temperature property and the backyard temperature sensor object temperature property um, so as you can see it shows those currently um, that basically is everything we have right now um, definitely open to some uh, opinions and suggestions on what we could add uh, make things easier as far as accessing it accessing your system through the web um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you on the forum. Thanks.